This is High Yield MCAT here today to talk about escape learning and avoidance learning. So let's just jump right into it. First, to contextualize this, we want to understand that both of these concept, concepts are in the umbrella of negative reinforcement or learning to avoid an aversive stimulus. And this is further under the umbrella of operant conditioning. So when we think operant conditioning, we can think of scientists like B.F. Skinner, who created the Skinner box, studying rats and their own responses to aversive stimuli. However, uh, in a certain sense, we are sort of similar to rats in that we respond to aversive stimuli in somewhat similar ways, at least according to behaviorists like B.F. Skinner. So let's talk about the fundamental difference, something that isn't explained well very often. So escape learning is escaping an experienced stimulus, whereas avoidance learning is avoiding the stimulus altogether. So the big differentiator between the two, even though they sound very similar, is that in escape learning, you've actually experienced that aversive stimulus and you have to escape it. Whereas avoidance learning is making sure we learn a behavior to avoid that aversive stimulus in the first place. So let's take a look at this through an example. I'll give you a little bit of time to pause and read the question. All right, now that you've had some time to read the question, let's take a look through the answers. Which of the following would best operationalize the dependent variable? So first we have to know what operationalize means. Basically that means a way to measure or quantify our dependent variable. And we're looking how our independent variable antisocial personality disorder affects our dependent variable, avoidance learning. So really we're looking at how to operationalize or quantify avoidance learning. So I'll give you a little bit of time to read through these questions here. Hopefully you picked D. D is an example of avoidance learning because the subject is bypassing the uh, punishment of elevator music, if you consider that a punishment, um, by learning to select A. So that would be our avoidance learning. Do you know what type of learning answer A is? If you answered escape learning, that would be correct. This would be kind of a ridiculous example to get up and walk out of the room, but it would be an example of escape learning if you consider elevator music to be the punishment because you have experienced the aversive stimulus, which is elevator music, and you are walking out of the room. B and C, on the other hand, have very little to do with uh, even operational conditioning in general. So our correct answer is D. And this question was modeled after a real double AMC practice uh, question so definitely take note of it and keep in mind the difference between escape learning and avoidance learning for your MCAT exam. So that's all today for High Yield MCAT and feel free to like and subscribe and check out our other videos for your MCAT exam.